welcome to My Vintage Love. We are here at the Manhattan Vintage Clothing Show. We're gonna go look around and see some of the beautiful things the vendors have to offer. Come with me. So I found these great three pieces from Sisters Vintage, one of my favorite shops, and I'm gonna go try them on. So I'll try them on for you. Take a look. This is one of the most amazing pieces I've seen in a really long time. This is a 1920s cape with silk, I believe, with the most insane print I have seen possibly ever. <laughs> Look at this print. The Pegasus, it's still so bright. Those gorgeous bright colors and this nice puffed collar. And even the lining is in amazing condition. This makes me think that it was never worn. It was probably worn maybe once and then it sat in a closet very well kept taken care of. Um, I wish I could take this baby home with me. I don't think it's in the cards today, but So sort of a tip is that you might love something, but you might not love it on you. I was just in the communal dressing room and this very beautiful woman tried on something and she's like, I love it, but I don't know if I love it on me, which is something that can definitely happen with any kind of clothing, with vintage in particular, especially if it's a very, very beautiful piece. You might love it, but you might not love it on you. So that's just something to keep in mind. I found some great pieces of some disordered vintage and I'm gonna go try them on. the one, the only, Dr. Colleen Darnell, vintage Egyptologist, who probably right away this amazing woman is. But um, I'm so happy to see you today. It's been a very long time. And what did you get today so far? So, quite an incredible and very special piece. This was designed by Irene Castle. And if you were alive in 1918, 1919, you would have known her name. Sadly, many people don't today. She and her husband basically invented ballroom dance. Right. Yes. This so the label, huge, huge, huge. Rock star. exactly, and it actually has the label. Wow. Irene Castle, and I love how in the back, oh, it's these little pleats. Yes. I now she must have designed very few pieces. I've never heard of a line from her. Yes. So this is with um, Corda Kelly silks. Okay. 
And so she did uh, several lines with them. Okay. So I actually researched it okay. prior prior to purchasing the piece. Did you show this at the live last time? I, I did. This piece. I okay. did. Could not pass it up. That's amazing. Just <laughs> your memory. You had to get it. So what is? I mean, this is probably a holy grail piece for you. Do you Absolutely. Have another holy grail piece or pieces that you're looking for that was just like check the box. Why? I've been collecting long enough now that I feel like a lot of my boxes have been checked. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. <laughs> but there's always. I think for me, it's about the piece that you don't expect. Yeah, absolutely. For example, you know I love 1960s as yeah. well, and pantsy boots. Oh my god. So cool. <laughs> Are they a boot? Are they pants? They're both. I love the era mixing caps going on. Yes. Here. This is a Victorian yes. shawl, and then 60s pant boots, which is just, I mean, not many people can pull this off, but probably just very, very well, obviously. And if you think about 1960s London, what yeah. were they doing? They were buying Victorian yep. vintage. So th yeah. this was the inspiration you know, from that. Yeah, you can imagine from that. the 60s actually wearing this. So it all ties together in the end. <laughs> it was really nice running into you today. Nice running into you. The time. I appreciate it. This is my beautiful friend Hannah, an amazing collector. What are your holy grail pieces? What's the thing, what are the things you're looking for that you're like, I really want to find that before I die? Honestly, I, I've been collecting for a really long yeah. time. So at this point for me, it's something that I've never seen before. You know, if I see anything where I'm like, wow, I've yeah. never seen anything like that. I feel like that's what I should be buying, but especially really unusual 20s pieces. Yeah. I feel like early 20s, you start seeing a shift into more avant-garde fashion. Yeah. And that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Very yeah. cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. you. One day when the universe is ready, it's going to send me a loose seal and I will be open to that. That's what I'm waiting for. Preferably from the 19 teens, but I'm not picky. So loose seal. <laughs> Well, I am always looking for 1960s and 70s pieces that feature 1920s prints, not unlike this look. So if you see anything, let me know. Well, currently, or what I'm always looking for are really fabulous hat blocks since I'm a milliner. So something, anything from the 30s, especially the late 30s era, um, sort of surrealist phase of millinery where they're unusual shapes. And they're very rare, and a lot of people have bought them because they're so beautiful and sculptural. They they buy them to you know use as um, sculpture in their house or um, you know art piece, design piece. So um, and I actually like to use them. So, um, but they're they're incredibly rare. So I haven't seen any today, but I've seen lots of other fun stuff. Oh yeah, having a good time. So what are some holy grail pieces that you're looking for? Yes, I am looking for beach pajamas. Definitely, that's one of the ones where you have to find the right ones, yes. and then. When it calls to you, it calls to you. Yes. But uh, looking for that, rayon sets, uh, yeah. two-piece fits. Okay. Summer, I'm looking for summer. Okay. So that's what I'm on the lookout for. And uh, of course, I can never say no to a good gown. Yeah, same, same, yeah. I need another gown that can need a hole in the head, but I can never say no to it. It's so, true. It's yeah, very there's a gown down there. I'm like, I don't need to try that gown on, but I might anyway. But I'm going to do it anyway. Why not? Yeah, exactly. We're here. Why not? Um, thank you so much. Of course. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us here today at the Manhattan Vintage Clothing Show. Please subscribe below if you haven't already, or follow us on Instagram at My Vintage Love Blog for even more regular updates, and we will see you at the next one. Bye. Hi guys, so I wanted to show you what I actually bought at the Vintage Show. Two of the three pieces I hadn't tried on for the camera, and I really wanted to see them on my body because it looks so much better on a body as opposed to on a hanger or just laid flat. So I'm gonna start out showing you this beautiful blouse that I bought from Demetra Vintage. And I remember pulling it off the rack and thinking like, oh my God, this is stunning. So it's a cutout. I love a cutout of any kind. So you can see these beautiful, beautiful cutouts with the rhinestones right here and these kind of three quarter length blouson sleeves, fuller sleeves. Gorgeous. I'm wearing it with some high-waisted pants right now. I could definitely wear it with a pencil skirt or something or a fuller skirt, but I love this blouse. It is actual perfection. And like I said, I love a cutout and you don't see blouses a lot with cutouts, especially this size. So when I saw it, I knew it was a special piece and I knew I had to have it. So next up is this lovely 70s peasant hippie dress. Um, I don't have a lot of stuff like this in my closet, but I do love this one. Um, I do love a peasant hippie dress every once in a while. It's so long and flowy. It'll be amazing for summer. Just throw it on and go, not too heavy. It doesn't feel heavy on the body. It'll be really nice when the weather is really, really hot and I don't want to 
feel like I'm wearing anything. Um, and I just love how it nips in at the waist here with this faux embroidery and the rick rack. And it's just a great summer dress and I can really never say no to a good summer dress and in white. I love a white summer dress. So last but not least is this super, super cute novelty print dress that I got from the vendor Winning and Losing. And I just love this dress. It is super cute, a perfect summer dress. Um, it has a matching belt, which doesn't always happen. These really thin halter straps and this cute little shelf bust, uh, pleated shelf bust. And the print on this is so cute. It's harder to see far away, so I'm gonna show it to you a little more close up. But it's guys riding bicycles in this really fun and kind of unexpected colorway of green, white, orange, and purple, a little yellow. So it'll be really fun to stack some bracelets with this to match. So this is the last one. I loved everything that I found. I wish I could have bought more because I always would like to buy more, but there's a limited amount of time and space. But I really hope you like seeing the things that I bought, and we'll see you at the next one. Bye.